Hey what's up coders welcome to one little coder today we are going to see a new stable diffusion tool that can help us create 360 degree images just using a text prompt yes the image that you are seeing right now i have used a tool called latentlabs.art and i have created this image now this image might look like a normal landscape image but it is not the fact is like when you download it it is a normal image but you can actually go here on latent labs and then look at this image 360. You can place the camera in any angle that you want within the 360 image and 360 degree image. And that is quite interesting. I'm going to show you from the start how to do this thing. But this is an incredible tool and they, they've got a Discord community for you to join and then explore further. First, let's go to the landing page latentlabs.art. When you reach the landing page latentlabs.art, you're going to see this very simple interface where you've got their logo, join the discord button and then you have got a text like text field where you can add the prompt clear the existing prompt whatever you want to describe there are two models right now you can try the first one is stable diffusion 1.5 and the second one is stable diffusion 2.1 so to generate something so what i've done is i've gone to the lexica.art website and then i started looking for a prompts that are landscape related you know like futuristic city or something like that you can search for anything that you want like you can go to the home page and look for but let's say like we pick one of the prompts here so i'm going to pick one of the prompts here very simple one it says gta dubai ivan lali shivli okay so i'm going to copy this this is made with stable diffusion 1.5 i'm going to go back to latentlabs.art and i'm going to describe my world so in this case i'm just giving the same prompt gta dubai by e1 and i'm going to click generate Let's see what kind of image that we get. And once you get, it doesn't have a lot of time. It doesn't take a lot of time to generate the image. So we have got the image. Now you can actually do this. You can, you can actually look everywhere in 360 degree. You can zoom in, zoom out. You can go up, down, and you can search everything. So now, if you just want to first take a look at the overall image, for example, the first thing that you can do is you can download the image. You can actually save it, open it, and then see how it looks. So the 360 degree image uh, or the PNG, the flattened version of the 360 image looks like this. Dubai looks like this. This is definitely not the GTA Dubai. We might have to do some work on our prompt, but you can see how good it is. And you can also now see how you can place the camera in the way you want. So once again, you can try some default prompt that they have given, for example, a click generate an art by Van Gogh. And now you can play with the angle camera angle. This is quite helpful. Um, if you are, uh, if you are into the 360 degree image world in the first place, or if you are, if you are just somebody who is looking at images and then trying to get a particular shot, like for example, if you generate an image, sometimes you want the photo to be in a particular angle, a particular shot. Um, it's something that a lot of people do with video editing tools like placing camera and uh, changing the angle. That's something that you can do with this tool that is currently available on latentlabs.art. So you can see how I can either focus on sky or I can focus on the um, castle or I can go, I can look everywhere and I can also download the image for me to verify. Like if I want the entire image, then I can have the entire image, which has got like multiple options because it's a landscape image. It has got multiple things and then you can place the camera that you want in the right place. This is quite interesting. Um, it's, it's one of the new tools. A lot of people have been building tools on top of stable diffusion. This is a new tool. It doesn't require any login. It's, it's free for you to try out. Definitely join their discord. It's currently in alpha, like as they say, 0 0.003, but this is something it's quite interesting. Like the kind of approach that uh, developers have taken with stable diffusion, especially kind of new things that they are trying. So this is. Definitely an interesting thing where you can give a text prompt and generate a 360 degree image where you can place the camera in any angle that you want. And then you can take screenshot, download image, whatever you want to do. I'll place the required link in the YouTube description. Definitely check it out. If you have any other question, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I hope this was helpful to you. See you in the next video. Happy prompting.